Well, check out this video showing a dust storm sweeping across northwest Texas on Sunday. The dust storm turned skies a hazy yellow color and reduced visibility in Lubbock for many. This footage captures tumbleweeds and debris rolling through an area in Lubbock. Wow, I'm trying to figure out if we were worse or then. <laughs> it looks pretty bad out they there. They have a lot of dust for yeah, sure. Yeah, they do. But I feel like we may have taken the cake on this one. <laughs> in terms of those peak gusts, right. for sure. Right, it was strong. Yeah. Um, I feel like we got a taste of what hurricane force wind feels like. There you go. Yeah. I, I remember us talking about that. And yeah. I feel like we're getting a taste for a little bit of everything, as Natasha Ooh. pointed out earlier in the newscast, yeah. even Switching Snow. gears now, looking at uh, Thursday. I know, I'm really excited about this one. So it's preliminary, right? Mm -hmm. We still have a few days out to go, but as of now, it's looking quite promising for us to see some flurries. Check this out. This is what we are seeing. Uh, we are looking at about 53 degrees in El Paso. Really nice, calm winds, very dry for today. Uh, and here's how we compared. On average, El Paso is supposed to be at about 67 degrees. We were able to register 64 today, so slightly below that. This this morning we started off at 33 degrees 42 is normal so we were slightly above freezing below average and tonight going into tomorrow morning it does seem like we're going to get closer to seasonal in El Paso 34 in Las Cruces 38 in Juarez now get this we have this massive storm system out in California much of the Pacific Northwest and so this massive storm system is going to continue to move East and as it does, it's going to be bringing in all the elements we're currently seeing out west. So, for example, for us, we're going to be dealing with those really strong winds, a big cool down, and in turn, we could potentially see the possibility of flurries moving into our area as early as Thursday. So, this particular weather model is actually showing us that much of the snow is expected to fall over in Silver City. And as we continue into Thursday morning, look at that 0.7 inches of of snow potentially in El Paso. This is around 7 a.m. So we're going to start to see the snow falling down into the overnight hours. 0.5, so half an inch of snow potentially in Las Cruces. 3.9 inches in, of snow in Cloudcroft, two inches in Ridoso. So here in El Paso, we could potentially near the one inch mark. It's going to be very, very interesting how it all pans out as we get closer to this forecasting period. But as of now, both models that I'm looking at continue to agree we might have snow Thursday morning. As we move ahead, it's not just that, it's also the wind. So we'll start to see those breezy conditions on Tuesday, 20 mile per hour peak winds, Wednesday, 35 potentially. And then on Thursday, we do expect to see another round of high winds. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about that. So we're looking at 20 mile per hour sustained winds Tuesday, 35 sustained winds, mile per hour sustained winds Wednesday, 40 mile per hour sustained winds on Thursday, peak wind speeds, 20 miles per hour Friday, and then a really nice gentle breeze on Saturday. So Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is expected to be quite pleasant. 72 degrees in El Paso for tomorrow. Borderline windy at times. And as for Las Cruces, we're forecasting 67 degrees. Same thing, breezy to windy at times. And here's a look at your nine day forecast. We're expecting to go from 72 on Tuesday to 70 Wednesday, which isn't too bad. But then we drop to 50 degrees Thursday. That's a 20 degree drop high winds Thursday AM flurries potentially seeing some snow sticking to the ground now so I'm feeling a little more confident about that 62 degrees on Friday and then we're back into the 70s Sunday into the beginning of next week I do want to give a big shout out to our weather watcher certified weather watcher Philip Lovato thank you so much for allowing us to see this cool shot the high winds yesterday actually knocked over an electric pole over in northeast El Paso that's by the library so that was a really unique shot thank you so much Philip for being a weather watch your certified one for that and if you like to be featured on KTSM 9 news go ahead and submit those beautiful weather photos to us through our social media platforms or email news at KTSM.com don't go anywhere we'll be right back after this